Welcome dear students. In this video lecture, we are going to solve the numerical which is asked in a GTO question paper of 1st January 2022 and the question is in question 5c main part. This numerical is belongs to the uh, heat actions. Eh? So let's start. In a certain mechanical industry, a counterflow heat exchanger is to be used to cool air from 540 degrees centigrade to 145 degrees centigrade. The flow rate of air is 12.5 kg per second and the heat exchanger contains 4200 tubes, each having a diameter of 30 mm. The sea water is to be used to cool the air and Water enters the heat exchanger at 25 degree centigrade and leaves at 75 degree centigrade if the water side resistance to the flow is negligible. Calculate the tube length required for this heat duty. For turbulence flow inside the tube is use the Nusselt number is equals to 0 0.023 into Reynolds to the power 0 0.8 and Prandtl's to the power 0 0.4. And the mass flow rate is m dot which is equals to n a rho v where n is a number of tube and rho is a density, a is a cross sectional area and v is a velocity. The properties of air at an average temperature are given as follow. So thermal conductivity is 3.003 into 10 to the power minus 2 watt per degree centigrade meter. The density of air is 1.09 kg per meter cube. The CP of air is 1.008 kJ per kg Kelvin. And mu is 2.075 into 10 to the power minus 5 kg per meter into seconds or Newton second per meter square. So students, let us start with the given data. And then we plot the temperature distributions diagram for the heat exchanger. So here, the hot fluid that means uh, air inlet temperature of hot fluids is given that is 540 degrees centigrade and the hot fluid outlet temperature is given that is 145 degrees centigrade. The mass flow rate of hot fluid is given that is 12.5 kg per second. Then Cold fluid inlet temperature is given that is 25 degree centigrade and cold fluid outlet temperature is given that is 75 degree centigrade. The numbers of tube in the heat exchanger is given that is 4200 and the diameter of tube is 30 millimeter. So it becomes 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Then the different properties are given the density is 1.09 kg per meter cube the cp of air is given that is 1.008 kilojoule per kg degree centigrade so we need to convert this into the joule so by multiplying 10 to the power 3 it becomes a joule per kg into degree centigrade then the mu is given 2.075 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton second per meter square mass flow rate is given by the formula n rho a v so we need to find the l and second things is given that we have to neglect the water side resistance so first of all we plot the temperature distribution diagram so arrangement of this heat exchanger is given that is a counter flow. So let's say the hot fluids are entered in these directions. The temperature of the hot fluid inlet is TH1 which is 540 and outlet temperature of hot fluid is 145. The cold fluids enter in the opposite directions as we have a counter flow heat exchangers. So inlet temperature of cold fluid is 25 and cold fluid outlet temperature is 75. So this is the arrangement for the heat exchanger. Now for calculations of Nusselt number, the correlations are given in this numerical that Nusselt is equal to 0 0.03, Reynolds to the power 0.8 and Prandtl to the power 0.4. First of all, the mass flow rate is given to us 
which is equals to rho a v into m a so we make subject rho into v so here we get m dot upon n into a and area of the tube that is pi by 4 d square and the diameter of tube is given that is 30 millimeter so using this two formula we are going to calculate the reynolds number so reynolds number is rho v d by mu so uh, we write as rho v into d by mu so value of rho into v is becomes m dot into n into a multiplied by d by mu now we put down the value so m dot is 12.5 into diameter is 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by number of cube is 4200 area is pi by 4 into d square so 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 equal to the power 2 and mu is 2.075 into 10 to the power minus 5 so finally we get the value of reynolds number that is 6087.4 now students we are going to calculate the brandel number so we know the formula of Brandel number is equals to the mu c p by k. So value of mu is 2.075 into 10 to the power minus 5. The value of c p is 1.008 into 10 to the power 3 divided by k is 3.003 into 10 to the power minus 2. So we get the value of Brandel number that is 0.6966. Now we put down the value in the correlations to calculate the Nusselt number. So Nusselt is equals to 0 0.023 into Reynolds to the power 0.8, Brandel's to the power 0.4. So now we substitute the value of Reynolds number and Brandel's number in this expression. So Reynolds number is 6087.4 whole to the power 0.8 and the Brandel number it is 0 0.6966 to the power 0.4 and by giving simplifications we get the value that is 21.20 now we know that the Nusselt is equals to h into d by k which is equals to 21.20 so h is equals to 21.20 into k by d so here we substitute the value of k that is 3.003 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by d is 30 into 10 to the power minus 3. So finally we get the value of h that is 21.22. Students in the data it is given that water side resistance. is negligible so we get 1 upon u is equals to 1 upon h and finally we get the value of u that is 21.22 watt per newton square into calvin now students using the formula q is equals to m dot h c p h into th1 minus th2 we can calculate the heat duty of heat exchanger so mass flow rate of hot fluid is given that is 12.5 cp is 1.008 into 10 to the power 3 and the temperature of hot fluid is given that is 540 minus 125 so we get the heat duty that is 4977000 that is a heat duty of this heat exchanger it is the it is in the unit of watt now we calculate the lmdd so theta m is equals to theta 1 minus theta 2 upon ln theta 1 upon theta 2 so theta 1 which is 540 minus 75 and theta 2 is becomes 145 minus 25 so we get the answer theta 1 is equals to 465 
and theta 2 which is 120 and now by substituting this value of theta 1 and theta 2 in the expressions of theta m we get the value of theta m 254.69 now students we know that calculations of heat duty is having a formula u a into theta m so we have calculated the duty of heat exchanger 4977000 which is equals to u that is having a 21.22 area is pi d into l into number of tubes and theta m so we make subjects L 4977300 divided by 21.22 into pi into diameter of tube is 30 into 10 to the power 3 into the number of tube is 4200 and theta m is 254.69. So we get the value of length is 2.31 meter so in this way we are able to solve this numerical thank you thank you for watching this video